Yo, today I got y'all with my new favorite build, the Holger 556. And with my new build, you'll be getting consistent three shot kills, allowing you to absolutely dominate in both multiplayer and warzone. Ladies and gents, take a look at that headshot damage. If you hit three headshots, you can get a three shot kill, making this one of the fastest killing guns in the game. And that's actually why it got banned from the competitive league, and which is why it's now meta in multiplayer and it's also meta in warzone, despite it just getting a nerf in the recent updates. So to counteract that nerf, we are going to be adding the Chari. 6 match. I think that's how you say if we take a look at the effect the damage range now that's going to get a 20% increase increasing that 3 shot kill up to 44.2 meters which is honestly pretty crazy. We also going to get a bolt velocity increase and it's going to help out control that recoil. We are going to be losing a little bit of our handling but overall it's not going to really affect it too much and those pros are going to heavily outweigh those cons. Next attachment we are going to be adding a, a little bit uh, more recoil control to the weapon. Keep in mind if you are playing Warzone I definitely would add the Spear Fire suppressor if you're on like rebirth island or whatever you're doing over there run the spear of fire if you're not playing warzone you still can run the spear of fire but i feel like for multiplayer since we're a little bit more aggressive and the engagements are a little bit more action-packed you kind of need to have more mobility so we are going to be adding the zenth compensated flash hider you guys could probably already guess that so it's going to shorten that radar ping it's going to make it so this gun has less bouncy recoil allowing you to get more consistent three shot kills and then we're only going to be losing at a little bit of our adsp this is definitely my favorite muzzle in the game this thing is stupid good why i almost ran was just going to be the shadow strike suppressor that regular suppressor just so we can be off the radar completely so if you do want to run that it's still good and so overall though now we have a lot of recoil control and we have a lot of damage range super easy to use if you don't have an mgb i would definitely rock this build so still is a little bit bouncy at times i can get away with this but it just was a little bit awkward to use at long range and i noticed myself doing a lot better when i did add the adult assault stock you guys can see this can increase that gun kick control which is going to make that recoil a little bit easier to actually see and control plus we get that base recoil control with only losing about four percent to our ads speed overall that is definitely worth it. those pros are going to outweigh those cons there are some other good attachments i was liking but you know this is going to be the number one build that's going to fit in like any scenario now i personally don't really like the iron sights on the weapon uh let me know in the comments if you do usually use the iron sights on guns like if you saw these would you use the iron sights for me i don't think they're that bad bad but if you go to the optic you do add the jack a glassless optic it is insane where you're gonna get a lot of firing aim and stability reducing that recoil making it even easier to use at range if you are playing warzone and you want to scope i would run the eagle's eye just keep in mind there is going to be a little bit of recoil like visual and then just overall this is like a sidebar cool side reminds me of like advanced warfare and i was absolutely spawn dropping on emergency so if you want to know how to take over emergency stay tuned for that gameplay now our gun is going to have a lot more damage range we got the recoil control and we have the precision sight overall making the weapon a lot better from here personal preference you guys can do whatever you want you know the main part of the build is just to have this barrel the muzzle and the stock the rest is personal preference so if you do want more recoil control like if you're if you just want to use this thing only at long range the Bruin heavy is going to be a great option keep in mind your ads speed is going to be a little bit slower but you are going to have a lot of recoil control and recoil gun kick allowing you to easily use at long range this is not the build i'm rocking but if you want the no recoil build there you go if you want a no recoil build with a little bit more mobility keep in mind there's going to be a little bit more recoil than if you were to run the Bruin Heavy but the one that is also pretty good is going to be the Morn 20 grip you guys can see it's also going to give you flinch resistance so if the enemy hits first shot on you it is going to be a little bit easier to stay on target one reason I don't really like this though is that's lowering that the uh, ADS movement speed which in, in your gunfights you got to make sure you're always strafing like this is actually how you track the enemies with the right stick you can snap onto them and things like that with your centering but you want to use your left stick as you're firing to actually stay on target and then you just use the right stick to control the recoil when you do add this rear grip you're going to be strafing slower so it's harder to activate that rotational aim this is overall harder to track the enemies if you do want to increase the damage range high grain rounds definitely a good option um i say this in every video i almost was going to run the high grain rounds but um i just was playing on the smaller map so i didn't really need more damage range this barrel already gives us so much to where you don't really ever need the high green but it is very satisfying because if we look at that damage range now we can get that three shot kill up to 50.8 meters which is absolutely stupid insane overall though what i'm going to be rocking is going to be the 40 round mag since i was on the smaller map in the gameplay really depends on what you're doing in the mode you're playing keep in mind this exact build very meta in warzone you're gonna love it no recoil a lot of ammo very easy to use remember though if you want 
want to be off the radar or you're playing warzone you might want to add the spirit fire suppressor in place of the compensated one unless you really like the compensate but most people are going to be running the spirit fire i still like how it hurts the ads speed so much but it is a great suppressor now for my secondary this might already be nerfed by the time you're seeing this video this thing is oh my god you guys already know they buffed the jack ferocity carbine kit i think it was a bug because now it's doing 46 damage to the head giving you a four shot kill with a pistol up to 18 meters insane you can add the uh the bruin onslaught if you want more recoil control or you can take off that rear grip and then add an optic honestly i don't think the iron sights are too bad so i'd rather have a little bit just overall better stats running the compression carrier this thing is the new meta in the game i know infantry vest is nice so you can run around a little bit quicker but with this one whenever you get a kill it's going to replenish your health you'll see in the emergency gameplay i was spawn trapping about to die i would get a kill my health would get regen i can get the next kill and so on and it makes it so with the uh the emps and just overall like flashes and stuff aren't going to affect you as much so it kind of has like battle heart mixed in there super super enjoyable to use you guys gotta rock it it's just you don't get a task like you don't get a uh yeah tactical anymore but i usually would rock the stim to replenish my health but now i can just get a kill to replenish my health so it doesn't matter and then uh seven text is my favorite one uh, just the most consistent with that and then scavenger gloves just so i don't run out of ammo since i was going for the mgbs marksman gloves are typically gonna be the best one since it reduces sway and flinch when the enemy shoot at you and then i was running running sneakers so i can get the longer attack sprint because usually with the uh the vest i would run the infantry one which gives us you know longer attack sprint with the running sneakers we are going to get that back overall though usually i run covert sneakers and then i was running mag holster i've been rocking this a lot it allows you to reload a lot quicker allowing you to just be very aggressive you guys will see that right now yo ladies and gents sorry for going back on emergency but it was an emergency this map popped up and i i, just, I had to play it oh my god there's so many of them we got the holger bro the holger such a phenomenal weapon it was one of the first guns to actually get banned from the competitive league god damn and then nobody ever used it in pubs at all i don't know why like i would make a video on it and it would be like the worst performing video of the month like nobody would ever want to like watch it i'm like what the f this thing is insane and i think they just well they nerf that's the priest that guy's a priest he my shit up i was gonna make another joke but you know i don't want to offend anyone <laughs> you know what this might be my my new favorite ar in the game this thing kills so quick god damn dude oh my gosh my teammates are full-on npcs they don't know the difference from left to right but to be fair i don't know the difference also i thought i, I should have died yesterday oh god dude Bro, sometimes I just miss and I don't understand. They know I'm going to be over here, but it's such a power position. Even if... What the... Teammate, you're literally a god. I love you. Teammate, I will suck you off any... No, I will not. Huh? That guy saw me snaking. He's like, oh my god, get me out of here. Get me out of here. Get me out of the lab. You guys can see why this gun is not in rank play, right? This thing is crazy. <laughs> like, I knew the class is good, but like, yo, it just keeps getting better. This might be the easiest nuke I've ever gotten in my life. Yo, if you don't have a nuke yet, you'll definitely get one here. Unless you're like, oh, yeah, yeah, you, you will get one here. Stay alive. Bro, why is, why is my guy sound like Rambo? What the fuck? You know what? I'm just trying to spice it up. That Tahin is going into the gameplay to make you guys, you know, I'm making it a little bit spicy now. See? The enemies are spawning in front of me. But that was just because of the eclipse, though. I looked online. Oh, no. I had a friend say, yo, you see the eclipse? I looked outside. It was the sunniest day I've ever had. The sunniest day in Washington I've seen. I was like, there's no fucking eclipse today. The effects of the eclipse are coming out. Some weird things are happening. But basically, you know, it's always the eclipse every day for me. I don't really leave the inside areas. Typically stay safe in here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the spawns make sense. Spawns definitely make sense. Just spawn right on my asshole. Spread my cheeks and insert. Hey, yo, what the fuck? What are you doing? You know, I don't even want to push anymore. I just want to sit back. What are you doing? Oh, you're washing your hands. That's good. <laughs> the 
the amount of people that are spotting right here. This, this might be worse than Rust Buns, low-key. I know there's someone to my left. I was just letting him kill my teammates so I can get all the kills. Okay, so in theory, as long as I don't capture this flag, we should be good, right? I just captured the flag, so we're not good anymore. Okay. Oh, some of these enemies got to start moving. They're the reason for their team for the team's detriment. Okay, no, 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 no. That's the eclipse. Yep, spawns definitely make sense in this game. I don't see any issues right now. Everything's normal. Yep, yeah, it may make sense, right? It may make total sense. Let's call another swarm. Let's do the EMP right here. And then, uh, okay, teammates, we're actually, no way they can just catch. No, I, wanna, I want them to have B. Because I want the game to go on longer. I might give you guys another emergency gameplay because this is a blast. I feel like Jimmy Neutron right now. Okay, the spawns are finally swipping, switching. Bro, back in the day, it used to be like, you know, it used, it used to have like a six-man... Sentry guns, guardians, everything to like, you know, put the enemies into a spawn trap like this. Nowadays, you just walk over to, the, over to their spawn. Now we got gnats in the air. Bro, if you're a gnat, is your name Matt or is it Pat? You probably would own a cat. Bro, I didn't- I thought they were spawning in my ass again. Let's do the EMP. We got the advanced UAV. Oh, this is about to give Mixie. I got my mangoes and my tahin. Oh, they got it too! What the fuck was that? Nope. Wait, there's two of you? Not anymore. Okay, so we got hard point. I actually think the spawns in hard point are a lot better. Like, I don't think they're as crazy. Like, that last match was fucking insane. That was probably the worst spawns I've seen on this map. Like, capture the flag, it gets bad. But, like, that one at least, like, makes sense since they're set spawn locations. It's just this map when you're playing Domination. The spawns will not flip. They got snipers. They already know. They already know what's going to happen how the spawns are horrible. They got their snipers locked. Bro, do you see how fast I'm frying these guys? Like, if I was going against this weapon, I would be some fried sea bass and chips. I was trying to make a funny joke, but I don't think it landed at all. <laughs> Bro, Zoro, you've been there the entire game. What are you doing? <gasps> I love when you see a sniper and you think it's over, and then it's just not over. We got Freddy Cougar on my team. Oh my god! That was like a Hot Wheels. Why is everyone meleeing? Did the knives get buffed? We got drones. You know what we need? Is a drone like that that doesn't fly. But it like goes faster or something to make it like viable. I just want to like have a Wally. -E and just like roll out or it's, it's like a just... Like a Hot Wheel car. Is that a female? Wait, I've never heard a female voice. Should I swarm her? Okay, sorry. That was horrible. I'm sorry if you're a female and you're watching. I just have these intrusive thoughts and I just have to let everything out. And it's the eclipse. Speaking of eclipse, I have a little fun thing to tell you guys, but I have to get the nuke first. Once I get the nuke, then I'll tell you. He's right there. I'm just gonna nade him. Speed up the game a little bit. Thank you, advanced UAV. Give 
Get me out of this. Get me out of this hole. I saw the guy over there. He was a bigger threat to me. No, what the fuck? No, that was cut timing. What the fuck? Oh, you know what? Okay, here. I'll, I'll tell you guys the story. So, my, uh, my old username, when I used to do YouTube when I was like 13 years old, actually just in general, when I, one of my first gamer tags, my second gamer tag ever, if I get the MGB, I'll tell you my first gamer tag ever. My second gamer tag ever was Fusion because I was running a clan called Fusion. And then so you'd always put, you know, the clan name first. So it's Fusion X because X's were very popular back then. Now three X is popular. But why the fuck are you? Who, the, who asked you to get in this game? Oh, bad, bad play, bad, bad play. Bro, I'm surprised they haven't nerfed this thing yet. I'm actually mind blown. Oh, that guy with his stupid drones, man. And I think he's a sniper as well. Bro, I don't mean to play slow. But like, you know. Wait. Wait. Why are you not moving around? See, when you play slow like that and just hold the angles and let the enemies run into you, it gets pretty easy. This is kind of like how you play rank play. Okay, let's do the advanced UV. Okay, so they, the one guy knows I'm back here. No, dude, I'm better than you. Look, I'm going to call an EMP. I'm literally taking away half your screen. You have nothing on your screen. There's a swarm absolutely fucking you up. Probably thinks I'm cheating or something. The only reason he killed me is because he out TTK'd me. His gun just killed quicker close range. I should have had the Renetti there so I could out TTK him. Because this thing's good. It's just like, you know, an SMG is going to kill quicker at close range. I hope the enemies start capturing this so I have a little bit more time.
Bro, he left the game too? The fuck? 